Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rush Hour and I'm back with the fourth commentary with Grimace and we've got a couple things to talk about in this video. One of them being what would happen if you dashboard in Modern Warfare 3. Another one of them being what I just ate for dinner and another thing <laughs> is... <laughs> Yeah, so we got Grimace in the house here, and uh, this is the last commentary I'll be doing with him tonight. So uh, let's make it a good one, shall we? Yeah, every commentary with Grimace is a good one. Okay, but <laughs> yes, dashboarding in MW3. We were just watching a video by Woody's Gamertag, and uh, he was saying, since he got Modern Warfare 3, he has information upon this, that if you dashboard in MW3, which a lot of you people do, so you fix your kill death ratio. I know you do. I am not one of those people just saying. <laughs> but uh, if you dashboard just to fix your KD, really not a good idea. Because he was around level 20 or something, dashboarded and lost everything. Lost every level, every gun, every everything he had unlocked. It was gone. Basically his stats got reset. He was at level 24 and he dashboarded because he was getting wrecked and he lost all of his stats. All of his stats got reset. He went back to level one and basically he just got pooped on. <laughs> and yeah, um, I think he was saying something where like he tried doing it again and he dashboarded the second time and he was talking about how he couldn't even connect to the Xbox Live multiplayer on Modern Warfare 3, but he found a way around it by having one of his friends invite him to a party and stuff like that. So. Basically, don't dashboard. Yeah, really not a good idea. Not a good idea to dashboard just to save you maybe a bad kill to death ratio game. I mean, there's multiple reasons why people dashboard. Uh, one being to have a better kill to death ratio. Two being to uh, maybe if you're on a win streak and you don't want your win streak to be over, you might dashboard just to not count the loss. But I mean, whatever the reason is, you really shouldn't dashboard anyway. It's not really fair. And I feel like there's a reason why Modern Warfare 3 uh, might possibly be resetting the stats if you dashboard. So that's that about the uh, dashboarding Modern Warfare 3. Wait, one more thing. If you dashboard in Modern Warfare 3, I want to see why. Send a video to Rush Hour, and if it's funny or something, like you're getting destroyed, like you're walking out of your spawn, you're getting noob tube like crazy, we're going to put this on this page and just laugh at you. <laughs> that's, Do it. That would, that's so totally worth it. Like, you get a shout out and everything, you just make people laugh. Like, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make people laugh. Most of the time when people dashboard, it's because they're raging out of their mind. They're pissed at Call of Duty. So they're, hopefully you give us a commentary. You, you scream. They're about, they're about to throw the controller across the room, break their Xbox, stuff like that. That's why people dashboard. So... Uh, if you guys have any dashboarding stories, you can comment below, or if you have any videos of it, just send me a video response, and I'll uh, put it up attached to this video. So, getting into what I ate for dinner, <laughs> which has nothing to do with Call of Duty, basically, I just had pizza. So, getting off of that topic, um, yeah. Tom, what was on the pizza? Oh, <laughs> bacon, bacon. I feel like... I feel like I just slaughtered a pig and put it on a pizza and ate it, basically. Like, this pizza, you usually see sauce on a pepperoni pizza. No. He got a bacon pizza. There was no sauce nor cheese. It was a bunch of bacon. And now, I just think, if you got a bunch of bacon like that, like, that is like cardiac arrest if you had a whole pie. Oh my god. Because I can eat a whole pie, and that was freaking <laughs> bacon. I don't know. Like, you guys go to a store and... Buy a bacon pizza and tell us how much bacon is on it because this freaking place is trying to kill us. I wish I took a picture of how much bacon was. Oh, look at this! This is hilarious because you know, it takes a lot of skill to kill someone that's not playing. And uh, yeah, this is some gameplay of me going 46 and 3. Um, oh, by the way, I don't know if any of you care, but you know how Woody's Gamer Tag does that dissecting blah 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 and he takes really good gameplays from people and uh, analyzes them and does a commentary over them. So I just sent him gameplay of my 77-2 and two game on Havana, and I'm wondering if if he accepts that, maybe I'll even submit this gameplay of 46-3, and because he put up gameplay of someone, I forget his name, something for the win. Nerdy. Nerdy for the win, something like that. And he went 44-4. and four. I mean, like, that's all right. Grimace goes at every game. Hard in the paint. <laughs> Going no, hard in the paint. No, he doesn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you guys really want to see how good Grimace is, just take a look at our uh, 
Is it our survival mode? No, video? it wasn't survival mode. It was uh. It was the, what should be fixed in Modern Warfare Three? Yeah, what should be fixed in Modern Warfare Three commentary? I think it's the third one. That's not a very good, good description of how Grimms plays. I don't. I don't use noob tubes, <laughs> and that's basically what that entire video was. Sean, on the other hand, was a boss with those noob tubes. I don't know if you guys, like. Watch that stuff, but if you want some noob tube, com- noob tube gameplay with commentary, if, no, ask him. He'll, if you want some noob tube com- uh, gameplay with commentary, check out White Boy Seven Streets. Uh, how to get a nuke with a noob tube? He got a nuke with a noob tube. I think he got like a uh, six tuplet kill and like a quad kill, all in one life. And <laughs> how do got, you get a six tuplet kill? Yeah, he had this video. He get, he got a nuke within like a minute or like thirty seconds or something, just noob tubing people across the map. It was freaking lucky as shit, but I mean, I feel like that's, it was one of his first videos, so I feel like he got really big from that video, because it was pretty freaking beast gameplay, I must admit, but um, other than that, uh, how much time do we have? We have a minute, uh, we have 40 seconds left Well, this. then we could say, uh, by January, uh, Grimace hopes to be about 50% of Rush Hour Films. Uh, I don't, I don't know about 50%. Okay, so, probably about 45 So, here's here's the deal. I know Grimace in real life, and we've been buddies for a while. And he's thinking about getting a recorder and some editing software, and we're probably going to be playing lots of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 together. So, sometime in the future, there will possibly be a moment where he will be able to upload videos to the channel in addition to me. So, that'll give you guys some more content. And, yeah, that's it for this video, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> really rushed the end there. <laughs>